Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm joined with a good friend. Say hi, Joel. Hi, and Joel. And Owen. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and Owen, you've seen before. We're out here at Joel's and Paul's private claim. So I'm not gonna tell you any information about it other than we're out here collecting selenite. So here we have some beautiful selenite crystals. Look at that pocket right there. Large, big, beautiful crystals. Maybe get into it later today. Mostly we're just trying to clear some stuff off. So we're gonna... Well, we should be able to break into some really nice stuff over here in this area. This area we were into earlier last year. And we have the potential of some really good stuff coming out of there, so... That's what he says and I believe him. <laughs> so we're gonna, I guess, get over here where Paul's at and dig down into that right there. So Sounds like a lot of fun. In that area back there today, and we're hoping to pull out a couple thousand pounds of material today. Set it up on the Amazing with just hand tools and some jackhammers, basically. Amazing. Just wanted to show you some of the nicer crystals they've been pulling out right here. Beautiful things, things they pulled out a while back. They're just sitting right here, ready to get taken down. Look at that big thing. Beautiful, big selenite crystals. And these have phantoms in them, these little yellow phantoms. All right, take a look. Tell me if you can see any selenite. Let me know if you see any selenite anywhere. <laughs> you can see some of the growth patterns in it, and so many of these have these beautiful yellow phantoms. I was over in the other the part of the claim over that way, Sorry, I can't show you the area. I don't want anybody to see. This is supposed to stay private. But over on this side, it's a little different. So where we're digging over on the other side, you're getting the larger, more traditional selenite crystals. What people typically see when they see a selenite crystal. And of course, they have cool phantoms. Over here though, at the other edge of their claim, they have fishtail formations. So down in here, the selenite crystals are forming fish tails. Not sure how well you can see that. They've got a few pieces they've put up on top here. I'll show you later. But I thought this might be a great opportunity. Ah, there you go. You can see some good fish tailing going on right here. See how it's got molt. Basically what it is, is a bunch of smaller crystals grow off of a center axis in two directions. So you've got a crystal going one way, a crystal going the other way, and sure enough, it makes a fish tail. At least that's the shape, because selenite normally has a curved edge to the tip of the crystal. That's why it has that shape. Okay, a little bit about the geology. So we are in what is known as the Monkopi Formation. This is a formation that is all over central and southern Utah. Huge formation, full of gypsum. How did it get there? This is what is known as a Sabka environment. This is an environment where a long time ago, you have kind of a, a deserty, sandy, muddy beach that extends for quite a ways and then comes to the actual beach where the ocean is. And you get this big area in the back where you have large storm events in the ocean that bring a bunch of water over and then it has nowhere to get out so it just sits there and slowly evaporates. And it makes a temporary little lake that is full of salts. And as the water evaporates, it leaves the salts behind. Most people are familiar with table salt, but table salt's actually not a very common salt. Gypsum is one of the most common salts. There you go, gypsum is actually a type of salt. And what happened is there was a hot water spring or whatever in this area that came up and it brought all of this gypsum with it as it went through the Monkopi layer and it redeposited wherever there was open spaces. As you get closer to the surface, you'll find more open spaces. And so this deposit near the surface. See how it's just creating selenite, little selenite crystals all through any little crack you could find. And of course, where you get the bigger cracks, you get the larger crystals. So that's what you're trying to find. Big cracks, big crystals. Now let's go take a look at some of those close up. And I'll put the macro lens, macro lens on too so you can see those a little better. We've got the macro lens on. Let's take a closer look at some of these fishtails. Look at that. These are absolutely beautiful. 
They've also got some little black specks in it. Um, I think I was talking to Joel and I think he said that the black is biological stuff like microorganisms or something that got trapped or that found little fractures and actually grew in or on them. It also could be some kind of iron mineral. I'm not entirely sure. This is beautiful stuff. We'll just take a quick look at some of these. That. And here we are back at the main dig. They're digging away down here. <laughs> Ah, moved a good bit of dirt here. Hey, you're on YouTube now. Yes. You're famous. <laughs> hey, that's my name. <laughs> Semi. See, that's got crystal showing. Oh, look there. at that. And that's not even Starting the main. to get into something right there. Yeah, oh, that's look not at the that. Main vein, or is that I don't something think. buried? Or... Yeah. Did you guys bury this earlier? Yeah, this looks loose. This looks tailings. Yeah. That's Maybe a, not. That's, yeah. that's, uh, I think it is. Yeah, it looks like Oh, no. I don't know. What the heck? No, I don't think that's tailings. It might be just be fractured rock. Let's see here. No, that's selenite. That's a big that's chunk. That's a big chunk right there. Yeah. What the heck is going on here? That's a terminated crystal. Oh, look, he just pulled it out. See that? That's a terminated crystal. That's one crystal right there. That is a nice big crystal, and you can see the phantom right in the center of it. Yep. And there's a there's, second crystal yep, right here. There's two of them there. And you're right. Three. I think it's been weathered because look at the. It's yeah. got the weathering pattern on it. So that's a, that's a piece from erosion. Yep. Kind of hard to hear because they're hammering, but we dug into this a little bit more, and here's some nice stuff coming out. Take a look at some of these. Look at that. Out of it. Yeah, it looks like it. Right there. We off oh. a bunch and we are hitting some pockets. Right there. Got pockets through here. Get out the pocket a little bit and it goes deep. Oh, you can see down in there, but it goes deep. The plot thickened. This is where the original vein used to outcrop along this side here. And look at some of the pieces just sitting here thick chunk of gypsum and they used to dig it out all along this and just see it everywhere so what they're doing is creating an edge to try and get that one whole piece out there's just no way to get around not damaging some it's just the way it is because they're just big layers so yeah that's what they're doing they're cutting out a section to try and keep that section as much intact as possible so that's what they're going for Like picking berries on the mountainside. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty tasty, aren't oh, they? This one looks ripe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one, huh? It's a nice split. Our goal is to get it about yeah. in clusters. Beautiful big one right here. Let's see if they can get it out in a nice cluster. Yeah, if we can probably cut that right there and get that out. Crack it anyway. Nice. Yeah, crack it right there. And get this all out in one piece or whatever Fantastic. it comes out to. But if we can get that being the main piece. That'll be, be nice. Want some help with that? <laughs> I got it. 
Let's just get cut right there. Yeah, it's got that small little. Your roller. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Bravo. Beautiful. Good look at that. Oh, that's great, man. Oh, it's beautiful. Look that's at all those crystals all stuck together. Oh, yeah, gorgeous. gorgeous. I'm done holding it. <laughs> okay. Wait, I wanted to... Come on now, another strike, 15 minutes. strike a pose there, partner. <laughs> Can we see it behind the couch? <laughs> And there's still more loose crystals in there. You can see into that pocket a little better now. Yeah, you can see into that. Look at that. Beautiful picture. There it is. Oh, it's that's cool. That cavity you were talking about, Trent, going under that rock. Yep. You ready? Ready, Trent? Yes, I'm coming. Watch my hand disappear. <laughs> Look oh. how deep that goes. There is, an, there is a gap, Joel. And I, I can't get my hand back. Plastic where, plate. Oh man. I can't get my hand back far enough. <laughs> I'll get a light on there and see if you can. Let me see how well the GoPro does on its own. Oh, look at that. The GoPro actually. Well, I've got oh. a light on it. Oh yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Wow. Look back there. Look at all those big crystals. It goes back to the left too. So you can get look at that. Wow. No. Yeah, that. Hey, this is a gym. It's all <laughs> Nature of the beast. It is. Oh, that looks nice right there. Yep, nature of the beast. Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's a nice crystal. Yeah, what goes, goes, nice and what too. doesn't, well, great. <laughs> you win. Yep. <laughs> good shot. That one looks like yeah, it's pretty good nice. crystal. That's nice really good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Where your palm is. That's the one. That's a big hand point. Oh, Another big cluster. I'm glad that big one survived. We got it. We got it. Uh, yeah, the wedge was too deep. Yeah, but I got it. Look at that thing. That's what I was aiming <laughs> for. Sweet. I know. Another one. Ooh, another nice good crystal. Oh, you. Beautiful. That's a goodie. Mm -hmm. I like those that come to a point. Yeah. Set those off to the side, they get wrapped up. Those are nice. What, three times? <clears throat> it's not coming the rest of the way. Those are nice plates. Nice. Is that crystal on the top of these so far? This one? <laughs> yeah. I mean that one right there? Yeah, that's a nice one. That is a nice clean crystal. You know when they're squealing? Beautiful. Oh, that is nice. That's that needs nice. to be mounted.
Yeah. Cool. Good cluster? Yep. All right, to save time on bringing stuff down the hill and <laughs> wearing us out, you just sit down here at the bottom of a zip line and zip the buckets on down. <laughs> All right, we're back from the dig. I got everything cleaned up. Let's take a look at it. All I did was wash them off with running water and occasionally a toothbrush. You wanna to be very careful because selenite is very soft. You can scratch it with your finger now. So I washed them off, let's take a look. We're just gonna take a quick glance. I will put the macro lens on so you guys can get a better close-up look of just how beautiful these crystals are. So these are the ones I decided to keep. All right, let's take a look at them. Here's the first one. Look at that beautiful crystal. Nice, beautiful termination on it. Very nice. Another nice little crystal, you can see right through it. A little cluster. Another cluster. Okay, this one I really like because it's slightly fractured through the crystal, so you can see the fractures through it, but it gets this beautiful prism effect that it's just kind of neat. So, I like that one. This beautiful crystal right here. Now sometimes, if it's been exposed near the surface to the elements for a while, the dirt will get caked on to the point where it actually grows into it because gypsum, or selenite, will continue to grow near the surface and or dissolve based on water from rain and other sources. There's another nice one. This beautiful one right here. It's got two terminations at the top. And this nice crystal too. Look how clear that is right there on that face. Also got fractured on it. Such beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Once again, it's got some dirt on it. Look at the size of that crystal. Beautiful. Now, this might look big, but compared to the stuff they were pulling out, <laughs> it's a small crystal. Now, this is neat. These are the fishtail twins that they had in another area. Unfortunately, a lot of them don't terminate because they run into the other side of the wall. But look at the core of them. The core of them starts as this kind of a yellow, or at least it's got a, a yellow rim to it, where, you know, iron or microbial stuff was going on. And then right out of that is the black. The black is probably hematite. It's probably an iron mineral of some kind. Pretty stuff though. It was a nice pocket of crystals. Just 
loved it. Here we've got some more fishtails, but these ones were exposed, and so you can see how the mud kind of got grown into the crystal at the very edge and couldn't really wash it off. That's too bad. It happens. Another nice little pocket with the uh, fishtails going through it. I like this one because it had three crystals kind of supporting this upper. Just kind of looked cool. Just kind of neat. But it is kind of breaking apart. <laughs> And the last one, more of the fishtail, those really cool cores. There you have it. That's some selenite from the Orange Creamsicle Claim. A huge thank you to Paul and Joel for letting me come out to their claim. It was a fantastic experience. I highly enjoyed it and I hope to get out there again sometime. If you would like any of that material for yourself, I'm going to include down in the description a link to where you can go ahead and purchase some of that material yourself from Paul and Joel. So if you like that stuff and you'd like to purchase some, go check it out. Once again, a huge thank you to Paul and Joel. And remember, there's treasure everywhere.